there. This is going to be a general love reading for the sign of Pisces. Hello Pisces, this is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, as well as the Cross Watcher of the Pisces. And this is for your, your love and emotion readings. So your extended will be in the Zodiac Intimate readings. You can click on the link below in the description box or go straight to my website, saltwaterheelstarot.com. Pisces, it is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. <sighs> Did you get that last time? I can't remember. Then you also have keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectation. Heart to heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. Oh boy. Someone's not open because you have the word twice on 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 three cards open someone is not opening up or open to this thing that is not the the norm or their usual and it may be that it is a type yes but i don't know it feels bigger than that See, they're completely blocking it out, not open at all. Seven of Wands. The Emperor. Well, the Emperor is Aries. Some of you are blocking in Aries. Some of you, it's the energy of the Emperor, which is someone who's very in control as well. Some of you, it's about not letting go of control. Wanting to control the narrative, wanting to control the situation. The emperor can be seen as someone who's very, very stubborn. Someone who is very, very... <sighs> Egotistical. Pig-headed. Those are like, you know, the, the bad characteristics of the emperor. The emperor could be a father figure, right? He could be someone who is a business owner, someone who's an entrepreneur. But the emperor is about, you know, he's God of war. So he's very seasoned, you know, they know it all. So someone here might have the energy of, like you can't tell them shit, they know it all. You or them. King of cups. Love. but I don't want to feel love. Emotions, but I don't want to feel emotions. Oh, nine of swords. It's just fighting with what someone feels. It's, it's the emotional part. They're fighting with what they feel. Knight of Wands. Could be a younger fire sign. The Knight of Wands can also be something that comes in quickly. It rushes in. It, it's fast. It's out of left field. There's a conversation here that someone has been avoiding. They've been almost ignoring the situation is what is a feeling here. Someone's been ignoring the pink elephant in the room or they have been ignoring. Well, the eight of pentacles. Eight of pentacles is Someone working really fucking hard on ignoring something. <laughs> That's what they're doing. Six of Swords here. It's like ignoring that this is moving on. It's moving forward. This could go to the next level. It's a, it's like it's like denial. Uh oh, this is Cleopatra, Queen of Denial. Temperance. Temperance is Sag. Balance, patience. That's you. That's you being stubborn, not patient for some of you or, or your person. There's this like thing about it's a lot of stubbornness. I mean, even look at the card heart to heart conversations, how he looks. He looks like he's being a stubborn fuck. So there's this really big bit of like stubbornness. I don't know why that is either. Oh, four of wands, new beginnings. 
the hierophant i was literally gonna say this is the one it's stubbornness on this is the one the hierophant is also a taurus but it's marriage and union it's essentially two cards back to back that symbolize marriage or union <clears throat> right and it feels like someone's going Meh. merp nope Three of Cups. Three of Cups is celebrations. Ten of Wands. Heavy burden. It's like, it's like someone here is choosing to do this as opposed to this. Right? So instead of like allowing themselves to partake in this beautiful energy and like enjoy themselves and be happy and playful, they instead say, no, I'm not going to do that because I'm busy or I'm, I'm being patient. But they're not being patient. They're being stubborn. Abundance. Mm, that's a lot of something, right? Abundance means a lot of something. So it says manifest exactly what you want. Gratitude and bliss. It's also about keeping a positive mindset. And then you have the coffin, which is endings bring new beginnings, growth, change, transition. Someone here has gone through a process of extreme transformation. Extreme. Heartbroken. Sad. Breakup. Feeling loss. Grieving. Mourning. Uh-oh. That's too many cards, Spirit. I'm not going to take 17. One more. The Grim Reaper. The relationship is over. No second chances. Grow and transform your life. It's like... The past somehow is haunting someone. Somehow, some way. And how it's, it's haunting them, I don't know. It could just be that because of the hurt that they experienced in the past relationships that causes them to like not want to proceed it causes them to like not want to move forward it, it causes a, you know like a, a block emperor again heavy heavy fucking aries but you know the emperor is independent aggressive it's it, their leader literally says impatient um assertive they're the initiator it's aries and then you have judgment, which is rebirth. So this could be a masculine going through the process of rebirth. You have the fish, which is about large quantities. It's about money and investments and finances. <laughs> and the grasshopper is leap of faith or luck. Birth of a son in prosperity. Though There's a lot of prosperity here for money. A lot of career opportunities. <clears throat> The lily. The lily is experienced. Ambitious. And established. It, there's a real <coughs> big dick energy vibe here. Someone is a seasoned motherfucker. You have the firefly, which is illumination. It's chemistry. It's soul spark. Someone very magical. Someone very exceptional magic then you have the fool which is embracing the unknown the fool is about a new opportunity the fool is a rebel without a cause this is like jumping in and just sort of allowing yourself to fall if you're gonna fall and you're not gonna jump into a fire pit right i mean that would be common fucking sense but this is about jumping into something and allowing yourself to sort of laugh and giggle and and marinate in the energy of new beginnings. And it's not about you regressing. It's about you being open to love. The past is now behind you. Release it and embrace new possibilities. A new path is now available to you. Follow it with faith. See, it's, it, it's something about the old. It's the old needs to be released and let go of new beginning. A new adventure awaits. Embrace it and live your dreams passionately. Mm -hmm. There you go. So the, the, the end, the past, close the door, now new beginnings.
absolutely beautiful energy. So let's get into your extended. I'm going to be using the Sexual Tarot Magic deck cards. So it's going to be in the Zodiac Intimate Readings on my website or click on the link below. Okay, my website is saltwaterhistarot.com. Don't forget, you can pre-order your I Am Love bracelets. It's a remixed version. It has a Celtic heart, Celtic not heart beat on it. And I did this batch where it's half and half rose quartz and amethyst. Okay, if you own my original I Am Love bracelet, you know that they're powerful. So anyways, that's also available available for pre-order on my website, as well as my daughter's second bracelet, which she chose Sakura Cherry Blossom Flower Agate. Both pre-orders. Okay, go to my website, saltwaterhistarot.com. Thank you for your likes, your shares, and your subscriptions here on YouTube. Follow me on Instagram. Did I already say all that? I feel like I did. Okay, my Patreon account. Click on the link below. You can also follow me on Patreon, where I do different erotic tarot readings there. And so that's available there. All right, let's just get into your extended. Love you, bye.